remember me though I have to say goodbye can you tell I watched Kogo <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Castaway Cowboy. The Castaway Cowboy is a 1974 theatrical release directed by Vincent McEvity, cinematography by Andrew Jackson, editing by Cotton Warburton. It's written by Don Tate. The film stars James Garner, Vera Miles, and Eric Shea. I spoke about James Garner and Vera Miles in the One Little Indian video I made, and I spoke about Eric Shea in the Whiz Kid and the Mystery at Riverton video I made, so please go check those out if you want to learn all about those actors. I want everyone to know that Evelyn Kennedy is still the music editor on all these films? She's unstoppable. The movie was filmed on location in Hawaii. In the movie they say it's the island of Kauai, which is a fantastic island. I have been lucky enough to have been to Kauai and it is stunning. The beginning of this movie is really dark, like actually dark. It's very underexposed in my opinion. You can barely see any of the actors. A lot of it is backlit, which I don't know if that's the aesthetic they were going for. Andrew Jackson really loves backlighting. There's a lot of backlighting in this film, but in the beginning opening scene in particular, there's a lot of backlighting and it's very dark. It was hard to see all the actors. It was kind of annoying. On a similar note, her shadows still exist and they still drive me nuts. Booten's father is dead. Parent death. I was actually pretty invested in the story of this film, so I don't have a lot of technical notes. I kind of covered my technical notes. They all have to do with cinematography because the cinematography is so up and down. It's really, really good in some scenes and it's really not good in others. He didn't know how to expose, I feel like, or he just chose to make it unseeable. I don't know. There's one scene in particular that gives me really big Indiana Jones feelings, which is hilarious because this movie is like 10 years older than Indiana Jones. So that's got, maybe not 10 years, but it's older than Indiana Jones, which is cool. The movie is a lot like One Little Indian and the fact that there is a father-son relationship forming between James Garner and Eric Shea's characters. I wish, just like One Little Indian, that they would focus a little bit more on that relationship instead of so heavily on making the cattle ranch and cattle farm and teaching all these people how to raise cattle. Just like the bears and I, there's some animal cruelty in this film that I'm not here for. They take these cows, bulls, cattle, whatever you want to call them, and tie them by the horns to boats and then make them swim far to ships so they can ship the cattle to the mainland. And I don't like it because they're tied to those boats. So like if something happened, they could drown, not by choice. I don't like it. This man does everything in his power to sabotage Vera Miles' character's success so she'll feel forced to marry him. He is considered the villain, thank God, because if he wasn't, I'm upset. I'm upset anyway, but if he was considered just like a good dude who wants to marry her and take care of her, I'd be so angry. Because no, when a woman says no, that's what she means. Take it and go. At the end of the film, there's a tiny little moment where Vera Miles starts crying and I don't think she was supposed to because there's no close up of this. I think she just started crying in this shot and James Garner, like subtly while something else is going on, wipes her tears. And it was the cutest thing. I didn't really ship them the entire movie. Like I got that I was supposed to, but in that moment, I didn't even care if like they were together. It was just the cutest moment between actors. <sighs> Loved it. The Castaway Cowboy was actually pretty entertaining. I was pretty invested in the story. I didn't have a lot of technical notes. I really enjoyed James Garner, Vera Miles and Eric Shea. I thought they had good relationships going on. I wish they focused more on them, but they were there, so that's great. So I think I'll give this five cattle out of 10. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, come like and subscribe, but I'm not charged if you are, so you do you. And don't be this guy about it. I don't even know his name. He doesn't deserve one.